Does the heart sound okay? Yes. Medical checks for the newest arrival at Thornbury Animal Sanctuary near Sheffield, a bulldog they've decided to call Brandy. Brought here because her owner couldn't afford her food or medical bills. The sanctuary is now full and at risk of having to turn away unwanted pets. That dog's coming to us because the, the owner of Brandy's using a food bank, so um, he's struggling to feed himself and, and having the cost of feeding Brandy as well is an additional pressure that he just can't afford. Every single animal that's coming into our care now needs money spending on them in a veterinary capacity. These are thousands and thousands of pounds, these operations, and yes, we're picking up the pieces of that. Countrywide, the RSPCA has seen a 29% rise in the number of rescue animals, bound to happen after that huge surge in pet ownership during lockdown. And it's not just cats and dogs, but rabbits, guinea pigs and hamsters too. And now the squeeze on finances is making it worse. We have been fearful right since the beginning of the pandemic. What would happen when lives returned to some degree of normality, people went back to work, children were going back to school properly. That was a major fear and that's now being compounded by the cost of living crisis. A new element in all of this, food banks for pets. The charity Blue Cross now has three in the north of England and one planned for Wales. Very much a sign of the times. We have seen well over 100% increase this year on the same period last year. Uh, predominantly cats and dogs, we are starting to help a few more small animals now, rabbits, guinea pigs, uh, hamsters, things like that. We prepared for it from Christmas, we started to try and get more donation, donated food in because we kind of foresaw there might be an issue coming. Um, we were quite surprised by how fast that came. It has been fast, the cost of living biting in every way and leaving pets like Brandy without a home until the sanctuary here, under more pressure than ever, can find her a new owner. Peter Lane, 5 News, Sheffield.